What is up, homies? Christian back at again with another Twin Suns action figure close up. And today, I have for us the Hasbro 6 inch black series Mandalorian Boff Gideon. And as you can see here, we, he's in the new box that I feel like we're all getting used to at this point. Getting used to it, getting to like these new boxes and these side arts and the way they line up. So, we got that Mandalorian orange, yellow, tan color down here. On the side here, we got a nice picture of Moff Gideon. On the back, Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. And we have that same artwork right here. He's number eight in this line. We have all the legals telling you not to eat Moff Gideon. On the side, we got the window here and the window on top. But we're not here for this, as always. Let's break him out of this plastic prison. And here is the moth free from prison. And just off the bat, wow. This facial likeness is amazing. The print job was excellently done. The sculpt work was phenomenal. Everything about this, the hair, it looks like Moff Gideon. Just like him. I think this may be one of Hasbro's best recreations on faces and actor likenesses. It looks phenomenal. The print job was really well done. It's not too glossy like they've done in the past. It's not too pixelated like it's happened before. They're really getting these face printings down. And I'm really excited to see what the future brings for it. For the rest of the figure, I always thought Moffy Gideon has a pretty interesting outfit. It's like a cross between a trooper with how he wears some armor and an Imperial officer. Um, for the sake of this video, the cape is removable, so I'm going to pull it off. You can see it has a peg right here, and there's a hole on his back. That's how it goes in there. But you can see he looks really good wearing it. That's probably how I will be displaying him. But so we can get real close to the details and the articulation later, I'm going to take it off for now. So, looks really good. The clothing has a nice wrinkling texture to it, as always. They got the red lines on it that's in the show. This appears to be all new sculpt work, which is really nice. The armor has a really nice sheen. You guys can see my studio lights reflecting off of it there. It's a very shiny. I'm sure he keeps his armor in pristine condition and makes sure the stormtrooper spit shines it every night so he looks fresh to death. Shoulder pads have that same sheen. They really did a lot of detail work here. They put those dents in at the top there. They put the straps on it. They've even painted the straps red there. Some nice line sculpts. There, yeah, those actually are ridges that come out too. It's really nicely done. The belt has this really nice texture to it. It's really fun to feel. You guys can see it's almost like ribbed. Hasbro just put a lot of detailing into this figure. I mean, look at those wrists. The line work that's done there. And even the gloves. The gloves have that dotted texture to it. Even on the inside. Looks really good on the outside. They do look like some combat tactical gloves which is what I'd expect someone like him to wear. You guys can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up because it's so tiny, it's so detailed. There we go. The fingers even have all those dots. They have like these thicker, like almost Kevlar ridges coming out there to cover the knuckles and stuff. Just looks really good. And the paint app is nailed as well. Obviously it's mostly black, but where there is red, you guys can just see it's really cleanly done. They have the red that goes down the side. Almost like a blood stripe or something. Boots, well done. They got the straps going across the entire way down. So for some reason, the actual feet themselves have this sheen to them. That the boots around his thighs, well I guess that's not a thigh, that's his calf. The boots around his calves don't have but the shoe portion does. It would have been nice to have seen that sheen go all the way through, but not too big of a deal at all. Pulling the white a little bit closer for these blacks, because some of the detail does get lost in just how it's all black. You can see the ridges, and like the leather would bunch up for where your ankles would actually be moving and stuff. Just looks really good. And again, this appears to be all new sculpting. And the thing that also tells me how it's all new sculpting is the articulation. 
let's get into that. So for the head, looks down just a little bit. Not too much neck articulation. Up, doesn't exist. It seems to be his hair getting in the way here. He does have two neck joints though. As you can see, he has one at the base then he has one at the top, which I really like that scheme. I hope that's just how Hasbro is going to do all the heads from now on. Because for some reason, this figure doesn't have the best articulation. But, however, as you saw like with Jar Jar and stuff last week, this articulation really lends itself to be better when it's got the dual points. Swivel left, swivel right, obviously. Tilt. Not much tilt. Just enough, though, that you can see, I mean, some attitude definitely comes through. So we got enough tilt for that. And to be honest, that's enough for me. As long as I can get some attitude coming through, it looks like he's questioning someone storm some stormtrooper. Just said something stupid in front of him. And he's like, what? So, these shoulders. These are made of that soft plastic, so you can just pick those up. And then you can bring the shoulder up to about 90 all the way around. And this is what I was talking about, new sculpting with the better articulation. The elbow gets past 90, and it's a single jointed elbow. Really nice, really, really nice. I like it when the single jointed elbows can get up past 90. Obviously, I prefer the articulation of a double jointed elbow, but I prefer the look of a single jointed elbow. So a highly articulated single jointed elbow like this is the perfect middle ground, in my opinion between sculpting and articulation. His right hand for shooting and stuff does go up and down. Very happy to see that. Other arm obviously is the same. And except for this hand, which like standard has the left and right articulation. Not that it's going to be holding any rifles or anything, but it's just standard on has what the left one has that. For torso, let's get these arms up so you can see it a little bit better. Oh. Just be careful with these shoulder pads. You probably don't want to leave them up like this too long because as you can see, it bends the plastic. And that plastic will just stay permanently bent like that if it's a while. So he has leaning left and leaning right. Swivel left and swivel right for crunch. Forward. Very minor amount of crunch forward. Back. Probably about equal amount of back, I'd say. No, definitely more back. That just always seems to be how it goes. But, obviously, I don't think it's the fault of the figure because of the fact that he is wearing this plate body thing right here that would hinder your forward ab crunch. The thing would start digging into you and you wouldn't be able to go any further. So, I don't think that's a problem at all. For hips, comes out to about there, 45 degrees. That seems to be the standard Hasbro's been giving us lately. We have thigh swivel, really nice to see. The only thing about that thigh swivel, well, I guess this leg doesn't really show very well, but that red line is gonna mismatch. So just something for photographers to watch out for. Try to keep that out of your angling if you're going to use the thigh swivel. And for the knee, oh man, I'm so happy. The single jointed knee is back, baby. Look how clean that knee looks. So good. So good. You know, this is all I need. This needs to get to 90. Man of Moff Gideon's age is not going to be kicking his own booty or anything. He's fine getting to 90. And look how clean it looks. Looks so good. They really did a great job with these pants wrinkles. The way the light reflects off of it is really nice. So, for his feet, we got that standard Hasbro swivel and rock. So, good articulation on him. And again, the cape has this peg on the back. He's got that hole on his back. Well, I guess the cape has the peg on the front. I need to slide that in. And 
that is looking good. Might look into getting a soft goods cape. I don't know why Hasbro didn't give us a soft goods cape. They've been showing us lately they can really nail the soft goods. So it'd be nice to see them just commit to fully switching to capes and stuff like that to all soft goods. So it doesn't hinder articulation in any way. This cape looks really great with the wrinkles in it. And on the red inside, you guys can really see. The way it lays and stuff looks great. However, he suffers from statue syndrome that, you know, he looks like he's going to try to walk or anything. One, the cape's always going to want to pull him down. And two, the cape is just going to be too static for any pose really other than just standing there, which is a little disappointing. Now, in terms of accessories, we see that holster there. Again, I was going to leave that cape off. You see that holster right there. It comes with this little blaster. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even really realize that Gideon has a blaster until I got this figure. But this is a nice little pea shooter blaster. Hasbro did not skim out the details on this little guy. Let's see, there's like a little flashlight right there below the scope. The scope slightly offset, which I kind of like it when they do it like that. Looks cool. You guys can see on the barrel, there's some divots in there. It's a lot of detail. The grip has some texturing to it. You can see this little box thing right there with some out divots on that side. It's got the hammer on the back, which is a really nice touch. And this side almost looks like it's got like a safety switch. It's not on the other side. So that's actually like where a safety switch would be, where your thumb would be able to hit it. So very, very detailed. And you can see how tiny it is. Like no uh, bigger than the first digit of my finger. A lot of sculpt work and a lot of detail into something this small. More indentation down here for grip that's not on the other side. Hasbro went pretty far with his handgun, and I'm a fan. And fits beautifully into his holster. The holster actually does almost feel leathery. Like, obviously it's not, it's plastic, but the way it feels, feels really nice. And, I'm not gonna lie, like half the reason I wanted to get this figure was his other accessory, the dark saber. And this is awesome. So you guys can see the dark saber just like in the show and in the cartoon. My camera wants to focus on it. Come on. There we go. It's got that black inside with that silver almost translucent on the outside that wraps around it. It looks very good. And the handle. Come on. Let me get a new camera. So, the handle there, as you guys can see, very well sculpted. No paint app, but there's not too much of a paint app on the actual Darksaber itself, so that's not a big deal. And it looks like the Darksaber. They got all the crevices right there, right? The ribbing on the handle, like the pommel almost. Looks very good. The way this little wrist guard comes up and how it's angled. Darksaber, I don't know if it's just me, but that's really iconic how it angles like that to me. They got the heat exhaust up there on both sides. Looks really good. And the blade translated pretty well. I don't know how you do the blade better in plastic form because you can't obviously make it light up or glow without putting batteries in the, something this tiny and a little LED or something, which obviously would be very hard to do and especially at the Hasbro price point. I think they did really well. You guys can see that translucent clear milky plastic on the outside and something i didn't realize until i actually had it in the hand was it actually does and mine's really tough there we go separate so that's really nice to see so you can hold it lit or unlit now the handgun and the dark saber mean nothing it doesn't hold them well let's start with the handgun very tight fit into this hand as you guys can see which is usually a good thing and it is because that not going anywhere you guys can see that he holds it very nicely 
It's a very natural hold. So, how well does the dark saber fit? The dark saber, his left hand looks like it's meant for holding the dark saber. But I want to try both, so let's slide it into the left hand. Very good. Fits very nicely. It's not going anywhere. And then the right hand. Also, very nicely. It's not going anywhere. It looks very natural. It's not slipping and sliding. It's it's right there. So that's really nice. So, overall, I have to say Moff Gideon is a great figure. If you're a fan of the Mandalorian, definitely recommend it. If you got an Empire shelf, you're gonna need him. If you want that dark saber for anyone, Din Djarin, if you want it for Bo-Katan, anyone, you're gonna need this figure for it because he's the only one that comes with it. The head sculpt is one of the best likenesses, in my opinion, that Hasbro has done so far. This is up there with that Count Dooku likeness. Looks very good. And I mean, he's just a badass. He's awesome. So highly recommend this figure. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this figure and what you think of him and Mandalorian. Let us know. And if you do have this figure, why don't you post some pictures and tag us in it on Instagram. May the force be with you. And it's not with Moff Gideon there, as you can see. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week.